Hey everybody. Um, so today I'm going to talk about something that um, a client and I were talking about last night. It's not necessarily um, fitness related, but it is sort of health related if you want to talk about um, mental health. Um, so we were talking about just, you know, she was talking about work and how she's, she doesn't normally push back against stuff, but she's at this point where she just doesn't want to deal with it anymore. She's been having anxiety issues. Um, you know, doesn't want to deal, not necessarily doesn't want to deal with work anymore, but doesn't want to deal with people, um, you know, like the ridiculousness. I, I'm sure everyone knows what I'm talking about of work situations. And she was like, and I just, I decided to push back and I don't normally do that. And you know, and I was like, yeah, good for you. Um, and, but we just started talking about this past year and how it is, it has been in a lot of ways more difficult than the previous two, than what, um, you know, 2020 started and it was hard and I felt like everyone kind of went into survival mode. Um, and I actually functioned quite well. In survival mode like better than I thought I would I didn't get anxiety about it I didn't I mean obviously I was like kind of on edge with like everything going on I didn't want to get sick blah 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 but I wasn't um but overall I functioned quite well and our lives really didn't change that much to be perfectly honest you know I was out in the barn my husband already worked from home like you know those things didn't change for us I you know I still saw people you know, I didn't tell people they couldn't come see their horses. So I, I was still seeing people out in the barn. And we knew pretty early on that, you know, being outside was fine. Um, so I didn't really worry about it. And so 2020, 2021, like into 2021, you were still, things were like getting back to normal, but you were still kind of in that, you know, survival kind of, um, that survival kind of mode of like, you know, store shelves were still not getting stocked quite right. I mean, they're still not really, um, you know, supply chain issues, all of that. And it's like, what are we going to do? And we were, um, you know, that's why we did the, the feeder hogs this year. And, you know, so it was just very much survival, like let's keep ourselves going. And then, so, you know, well, I guess that was 20, we did the hogs in 2022, but, um, but then this past year, for some reason, it felt like something changed and, um, yeah, and I feel, and, and this particular client, she's not the only one that I've talked to that has had this experience that, that 2022 was, like I said, in a lot of ways worse than 2020 and 2021. Um, I, unexplicably really, um, you know, I think, and I talked to another client about it as well, you know, and she was saying, you know, we, it feels like we're, we're going back to normal and we're just kind of ignoring this collective societal trauma that we've all had, um, and just kind of expecting everyone to go back to the way it was before and things are different, um, and I think that we're kind of seeing that, that things are different for somehow, like they're just, they're different. And, um, and I've had this kind of similar, similar conversation with a lot of people where everyone is, you know, feeling, and that, the way I put it last night was I feel fragile in a way that, um, I haven't really, I didn't the two previous years, um, and I don't know why. And that's the part that's like kind of um, tough to figure out. You know, last year was a tough year. It, you know, it was very stressful, arguably one of the most stressful years of my life with the, the campaign and everything. Um, and, you know, and other people have had different stressful things happen in their lives last year. But it just feels like overall, there's this, there's this, um, everyone's trying to figure out, I think, how to get back to the way they were, um, 
you know, before 2020. And they're finding that I think in a lot of ways we can't. And maybe that's why uh, we're, we're having this kind of, you know, like everyone's kind of on, still anxious and anxious in a different way. Um, so, you know, and I just kind of wanted to talk about this because it's come up with many of my clients, you know, it's come up with a lot of my clients and a lot of other people that I've talked to. And I just wanted to say like to, you know, I think we need to be, um, easy on ourselves, you know, and not just say like, come on, let's just get with it, slap ourselves in the face. I think in, you know, we kind of need to be easy on ourselves. And I've trying, I'm trying to do that, like in my workouts and stuff, just kind of be easier with myself as opposed to like really get after it, uh, which I've done in the past and it seems to be working. And I'll actually talk more about that particularly tomorrow. Um, but you know, I just, I wanted to, you know, just kind of wanted to express that, you know, if you're feeling this way, you're not the only one. I've talked about it with tons of people and, um, and to, you know, find something that helps you feel, you know, better. I've been meditating, you know, if prayer is something that you, you know, turn to something, something, find something in your life that's a little bit bigger than yourself. And that will help you, I think, um, get through this like really weird, uh, really weird time. It's a really weird time. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to express that. I just wanted to express like for anyone out there that is feeling this way, you're not the only one. And, um, you know, make sure that, you know, work on your sleep, work on your diet. Those things will make you feel better. Work on your health, your physical health, your physical health will make your mental health feel better. Um, and work on like, for you know your spiritual health that'll make you feel better um and just kind of you know overall like be easy on yourself let yourself know that that you know this isn't it's not just you um it's a lot of people so i just wanted to say that you know i hope i hope you enjoyed this i hope you got something out of it um, I wasn't really sure, but I just, I wanted to, I wanted to let people know that, that this anxious, fragile feeling is something that a lot of people are going through right now. So, um, just know that. And if you enjoyed this and if you think other people need to hear that message, hit the like button, share it, subscribe, and I will see you all maybe tomorrow, maybe Thursday with a new video. Bye.